few years, you have already had an American visa, a Canadian visa. There's some fear. God is taking you to America. Yeah. Now, the people here, my word, I say right now. There are some fear. I said, God is already taking you to America already. Yeah. If we don't teach our members how to think and change their thinking, no matter what you're preaching, because until they change the way they are thinking, nothing will change. Amen. Amen. The father they are Zagados. Listen, Pastor, my first time in America, I preached for a same church and they brought me to America. And I said to myself that the day I will preach in America, many churches are going to invite me. One preach in America, oh come on, many churches are calling up for me. Why? I said it. When your words are like seeds that you plant, they are seeds that you plant every day in your life. The more you are speaking, you are planting the seeds. God is not mock. Whatsoever a man soweth, so shall he bring. <laughs> when you show negative words, you shall reap negative results. When you show sickness, you shall reap sickness. When you show prosperity, you shall have prosperity. When you show good marriage, you shall have good marriage. Lift your say, Father. Father. Say that, say, Father. Say it again. Father. Say, Father. Father. Any negative pronouncement, Any negative pronouncement. Over, my over my life. Say, over my life. Over my, over my family. Over my say, tonight. I counsel it right now. Say, it's counsel, it's counsel, it's counsel. Say, it's counsel, it's counsel. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Sister, are you blessed? Whenever you are going to church, dress very well. Don't look like a poor person. Listen. Listen. Reflect who you are. Listen. You see, you are rich. You are dressed like a poor person. It will never work. You see, you talk, but you are behaving different, the opposite. Do you know how rich people dress? Eh? Son of side. You see, look at what this man is doing. This man see a woman and say, I want to marry you. The woman will never say no. But say, gentleman, sit down. Sit down. Now. Okay. This man comes to you and says, Sister, I love you. You look at his t-shirt. So you, oh yeah, go ahead, sit down. You know us. Two of us. Two of us. No, true of us. Am, am I lying? Am I lying? No. <laughs> okay, imagine you take this guy to meet your mother. Your mother says, Where did you meet this guy from? Did you pick him for Shishamudi or Mabinudi or Burkina Faso or Soweto? The moment your mother sees this guy, your mother will say, They say, Mama, I don't like guys. You don't like my boyfriend. No, the mother, your boyfriend is poor. Your, your mama says, This is problem. This is problem. Listen, this guy may not have money, but though he's dressed, he will be accepted. 
He's talking against his person like that. You are a woman, you say you want to marry. Your hair is cut. You don't dress your hair, you are dressing the how. No. He said, Pastor, Papa, I want to marry. Look at the way you are dressing. No one will propose to you. Not look good. When the man sees you, you'll be attracted to you. I need to tell you these things. <laughs> some of you, some of you, you don't have any problem. You say you want to marry, you are a lady, you want to marry. And you are, you are dressing like your, uh, your grandmother. So when the man sees you, he does not see a lady, he sees a grandmother. And the guy can never marry a grandmother. And the girl goes, ah, you look like 40. <laughs> but tonight, God is changing your story. I don't like the amen that I'm saying here. By the time I'll come back next time, it's when people are going to walk away in the next house. You are in the very shit. Can you shout it out? Sister, this 
pray. I want to be praying with your might. Amen. Yes. But I saw 20 wedding rings in this house. Yeah. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Shut up, Father. 